No, 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 no. This will not do. Monsieur de Souza. Enchanté. Mel Madison, I'm afraid ballroom blitz must be cancelled. Cancelled? But why? Ballroom blitz? Sylvan's hit TV dancing show. I cannot dance here. There is no atmosphere, no lights, no mirror ball. And most importantly, no sprung dance floor. My cell phone, please, Mr. Bentley. Hello, Mayor Madison. Bob, you just have to make my dream of dancing with Sylvan de Souza come true by getting the stadium ready for ballroom bliss tomorrow night. Consider it done. Fabulous. Oh. Have you ever built a sprung floor, Wendy? Here. Sprung floors absorb shock, so they feel softer to dance on. Oh, that one looks just right for ballroom blitz. Bob! I'm so excited about tonight. Do you dance, Bob? Ah! Obviously not. Can you start unloading, please, Leo? Yep. I'll just moonwalk this way. Ooh, you're going forwards and backwards. I bet you can do this, Lofty. Whoa! Sorry! Come on, let's unload. Watch us dance, Sylvan! I wish I could do that. Lofty! Uh... Oh, my dance floor! Mr. D'Souza, oh. I'm so sorry. I should have known I was too big and clumsy to go near a dance floor, let alone dance on one. Don't tell anyone, but when I was a boy, I was a little bit, uh, well, uh, not the right shape or size for dancing. Always knocking into things. Really? Never. Give up on your dreams, Lofty. Hello, my dance floor. Can you really fix it? Yes, we can. It's so beautiful. It's perfect. I need to get ready for my performance now. Thank you all. And you must remember always to follow your dreams. Hi, Wendy. Power back on, Bob. Great work, Wendy. So, what's next? Well, I've inspected the roof, and we need to replace some panels. And we need to put up a new lightning rod to protect the restaurant if another storm comes. OK, let's get to it. I expect Scoop and Leo have nearly finished their jobs by now. Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream! Free ice We've cream! We've got some lovely it's nearly ice cream! Melted, but it tastes OK. We've been driving around for ages, and hardly anyone's noticed us. We haven't given away a single scoop. If we don't get any customers soon, we'll be giving away milkshakes. Oh, I've got an idea. Ice cream fans play music. Maybe if we played some music, we could... We can't play music, Scoop. We don't have any musical instruments. No, but we can both sing. Oh. Come and get your lovely ice cream. It comes in a cone and it tastes like a dream. Come and get your lovely ice cream. It comes in a cone and it tastes like a dream. Scoop and Leo have all you can eat on a hot summer's day. It's a cooling treat. Scoop, Leo, where did you get all this ice cream? It's Chef Taddy's. We're trying to give it away before it melts. That's fantastic. Oh, I'll have one, please. Ooh, I love ice cream. One scoop of hot dog and mustard flavor. Coming right up. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, no. It's all still in a terrible mess. <sighs> huh. Hello, Bob. 
What's the matter, Chef Taddy? Everything's still in a mess down here. What? Hmm, that's odd. Hang on, I'm coming down. But, Bob, the lift isn't working either. Oh, no. Another fuse must have blown when I fixed Bob? the freezer. Okay, Wendy. Bob? If you wait inside, I'll rappel down from here and check the fuse box. Bob? I'm on my way, Chef. Bob. This is a disaster. What's happening, Bob? I'm going to go down inside the sinkhole to inspect it. Oh, wow. Can I watch? Oh! Not yet, Muck. It still isn't safe. Oh. But listen, I've got an important job for you. I need you to be my safety officer. Oh, wow. Awesome. Uh, what does that mean, Bob? <laughs> I want you to stay on this side of the barrier and stop anybody from getting too close. You can trust me. Thanks, Muck. Hi, Muck. What's all this fuss about? The road's not safe, Betsy. Mm. Ooh. What's going on? Why have we stopped? Hello, Spring City Rockets. There's a sinkhole in the road. A sinkhole? Wow. Can we see? Yeah. Can we watch Bob fix it? Nope. Sorry. I am the safety officer, and you have to stay back. Aww. Hello. And what are you all doing here? Hello, Hi, Chef Hi. Shaggy. We're trying to get a look at the sinkhole, but Muck won't let us near it. It's not safe, that's why. Well, I'm sure Muck's right. I know. Why don't you come up to my restaurant? You'll be able to watch everything safely from the window. Oh, yes, please. Can we, Betsy? Go on, then. We'll never get to soccer practice on time now anyway. I'll go and find somewhere to park. What can I cook for you today? I wish I could see the hole. I am the safety officer, after all. So at least I should see why it's not safe. You're doing fine, Bob. Nice and steady, Tread. You got it, Wendy. Can I watch what Bob's doing? Please? No, Muck. I'm sorry. It's just too dangerous. You need to stay back. OK. I guess I should get back to being safety officer. What did you find down there? An old storm drain has collapsed. Oh, that rain last night must have been too much for it. Let's go back to the yard with Tread and get some replacement drainage pipe. Is it okay for me to look at the sinkhole now? Not yet, Muck. I want you to keep an eye on safety while Wendy and I go back to the yard. Okay, Bob. I'll call Lofty and Roly and tell them to make their way here. That's not very good. I need to get closer. No! I'm sorry, Mr. Bentley, but you can't come any closer. It's not safe. But I need to take a photo of the si Thanks, you two. See you later. Lofty and Tutan have finished here, so I've sent them back to the yard. Thanks. It's looking good. We've all worked really hard. Especially me! Dizzy. Did you know butterflies love to drink orange juice, Wendy? Well, any fruit juice, really. It's their favorite food, after the nectar they get from flowers. Wow, you could be the zoo's new butterfly expert, Dizzy. <gasps> I'd love that. <gasps> oh, 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 sorry, Jenny. Oh, don't worry, Dizzy. Bob, the pupae have arrived early. So I need to get them in the butterfly house as quickly as possible. Then I need to get the heating system up and running. Butterflies like it nice and warm and damp, don't they, Jenny? That's right, Dizzy. All year round, not just in the summer. Good. I'll go and fit the double sliding doors to the entrance. So can I go and get the pupae, Bob? Yep, no problem. Great. It's so exciting! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, don't worry about me getting in the way. I'll be as still as a statue. See? Count how long I can stay still for, Wendy. 
One, two, three. Oh, I just can't do it! Whee! Oh, Dizzy. <laughs> I knew it! That's the first pupa safe and ready to hatch. Oh, awesome! Oh, butterflies are so amazing! Some of them have got eyes on the underneath of their wings. Well, not actual eyes, but they look like eyes. Oh, and I love how their wings are totally the same on both sides. Color pattern? <gasps> um... What's wrong, Dizzy? Um, I just bumped into one of these posts, Bob. I got too excited. <laughs> well, it didn't fall down, so no harm done. I think I'd better go outside for a bit. Oh, okay. Don't worry, Dizzy. I'll come and find you as soon as I've set all the pupae out. <gasps> Thanks, Jenny! Come on, Dizzy! You can calm down! <gasps> I'll count again, but this time I will get past three. <gasps> One, two... And one of scoops. Oh, that can't be right. Maybe the pole's bent. Uh, try another one of mine, Stretch. Yay! Oh, oh dear. That is not good. There. All done. Oh, no! What's happening? Scoop! What's the problem? Ah! Oh, what happened here, Scoop? If Stretch tries to drive those in, the tops will be right underwater at high tide. I know! I've dug too deep, Bob. But how did Stretch manage to get it right? He works so quickly! Wait, Scoop! It's too slippery for you over there! Whoa! 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 Oh. <gasps> oh no! I'm stuck! I'm coming, Scoop! Oh, why didn't Whoa. I listen and just let Stretch uh, uh, do all the work? Uh, oh. Because you love digging, but you can't grip slippery rocks like Stretch can. You've each got different skills. Oh. But what if the rocks weren't so slippery? Hang on, Bob! There! I'm not slipping anymore! I'm gripping! Whoa! That's really clever, Scoop! I'd never have thought of that. Yes! Good thinking, Scoop! Now, what if I can make a path of gravel? Then I can help fix things! Can I, Bob? Can I? We need to work fast if we're going to refill the marina at high tide. So, team, can we finish? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Is everything okay, Scoop? Yes, Bob! We are ready to let the water in! Great! Okay, Wendy! Um... Um... Hey, Bob! Oh, oh. Ouch! What are you doing? Oh... Hello, Leo. Uh, Wendy won't let me out of the office until it's all clean. Huh. Which means you'll be supervising today's build. Me? Oh, wow! So what's the job, Bob? It's a giraffe house at the zoo. Uh, I have the plans here somewhere. Mm, this 
This is awesome. I can't wait to get started. Me in charge of a build. Uh, ah, yes, here you are, Leo. Just follow the plans and you won't go wrong. Oh, thanks, Bob. Oh, wait till I tell Dad. See you later. Anything I can do to help Leo? Bob's put me in charge of building a giraffe house at the zoo. A giraffe house? Can I help Leo? Can I? Oh, of course, Lofty. I expect it'll be a really tall building, so I'll need your help. Come on. The sooner we collect all the materials, the sooner we can get started. Yay! Okay. So, I need six pieces of two by six. Six? That's not very many. Huh, that's what it says on the plan. And Bob knows best. <laughs> Yes, that's right. He does. And 20 pieces of 2 by 4 four cinder blocks, plywood sheeting, brackets, screws, hinges. No, that's 4 by 8 Oops, sorry. Too much to carry. We'll get Tread to help us out. Did somebody mention my name? Oh. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. This is so exciting. I've seen Bob's plans, and they look awesome. Ah, Bob's the best. So, one giraffe house coming up. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can. can. All right. Oh, look, it's Curtis. Where's he going? I think he's off to do a bit of fishing, Muck. Now then, let's get to work. Right. 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 Who knows what treasures there might be among the flotsam and jetsam? Oh, really? If we're lucky, we might find something really, really special. <gasps> like that piece of driftwood! Oh. <laughs> It's not special. It's no good for anything, except the trash. It's good for looking at, Scoop. It's like a work of art. It's beautiful. Beautiful? Just looks like a piece of old wood to me. Well, to me, it's beautiful. And I'm going to look for more pieces of driftwood. Say yourself, I'm going to do some clearing. Okay, guys, time to get this beach ready for some spring fun. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. <gasps> no, Scoop. That's much too interesting to throw away. What? Oh, look at that lovely curly shape. It's almost like the tail of a mermaid. Uh, no, can't say it, Lofty. It's just useless driftwood. You can't do anything useful with it. I bet I can do something with it, but I'm not sure what just yet. Why don't you put all the driftwood in one neat pile near the ramp, Lofty? And then you can decide what to do with it later. Okay, Bob. And then would you come and help me put this stone back in the wall? We'll do, Bob. Good work, Lofty. Thanks. Do you think I've got all the fixum and gypsum scoop? Flopsum and gypsum! Fix them and gypsum. Flotsam and gypsum. Yeah, that. Did I get it all? Um. Oh, oh, hang on. I can see one more piece. Sorry, girl. 
What's that, Scoop? Huh? Driftwood. You could make something interesting out of that. A garden decoration, or a fence post, or a... Uh, it's just more trash, Curtis. Huh? Come up. Hi. Hey, Wendy. Hi, Bob. Hi, Loxy. Wow. Bob and Wendy are building you that treehouse? Wendy's my hero, and she can build anything. Right, Wendy? And we can hold our first club meeting today at lunchtime. You want the treehouse finished today? Yes, please. That's okay, isn't it, Wendy? Of course. Awesome! Thank you! It'll be the best clubhouse ever! Bob and Muck, you go back to the yard and cut the timber for the support beams. Lofty, you stay here and help me, and then I'll call Dizzy to pour cement for the foundations. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can! can. Floor painted, check. Paint drying, check. Hey, I'm here to help get the treehouse ready. Um... Safi, wait! The paint's not dry! <laughs> Wendy! We can put our biggest trophy inside the treehouse. No, Safi, wait! This is pouring in cement. <laughs> well, that's enough waiting. I need to finish the treehouse. How's it going, Hero Wendy? <coughs> Help! What was that? Sappy! <laughs> Why were you up there, Sappy? The treehouse isn't ready yet. <gasps> The trophy! Don't worry, Safi. I'll get it. Oh, it's too far down. Oh. <laughs> Let him go. The cement is dry, so the treehouse is ready to use. Wow! <laughs> Amazing! Thank you! I want one! I want one! I want one! <sighs> Room in your schedule for three more, Wendy? Of course. Well, the Spring City Ice Rink is coming along. I can't wait to see the Rockets play ice hockey on it. Whoa, they're so fast. They'll be even faster on the ice. Wow, playing hockey looks like so much fun. <laughs> I'm afraid ice and machines as big as you don't really mix, Muck. Oh. Uh, hello, Rockets. Um, Bob, we were supposed to be playing an ice hockey match at the Spannertown rink tonight. But their chiller broke down and the ice melted. So we wondered, uh, if... We could play here instead? Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry, guys, but it's not really ready. What if we worked really fast? We can work really fast. Well, um, maybe we could... Bob said they could! Uh, Yay! Yay! Come on, jump in, Rockets. What just happened? You just told the Rockets that we would have the rink finished for tonight. I did? Then in that case, can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. Great. Cold as a polar bear's nose. Hmm. It must be ready by now. I've always wanted to be a little bit faster. Ooh, oh. <laughs> hey, Scoop! Catch this! Scoop, no! <laughs> no, Lofty, not you too! 
<gasps> I'm really sorry, Bob. I thought playing ice hockey would be fun. That's okay, Muck, but it was very dangerous. How are we going to get the rink finished before the rockets get back? You know how things move faster on ice? Well... Sliding! Just in time! You did it! That was way off to the left. The thing you have to remember, Lofty, is that ice hockey is a very fast game. You have to stay in control. There, all done. <sighs> Here comes Dash Lightning, fighting for peace, justice, and... Wendy! <gasps> Oh, sorry, Leo. I, I didn't see you coming. I was just reading the, um, the, um, instructions for the speakers. Huh? <laughs> Fascinating stuff. <clears throat> okay. Have you seen the other can of paint? Uh, the other can's over there. Huh, thanks. Ah, there it is. See you later. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Dum de dum dum dum. The watchful superhero patrols. Bus off, go away. Aha! A citizen in distress. Bus out. You've been saved by. Oh. oh. Oops. Sorry, Chef Tutty. Gotta fly. Faster than a speeding tractor. Oh 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 oh. oh. Lady Tibbles, come down this instant, young lady. Another rescue? This is my lucky day! Never fear! Super Scoop is here! <laughs> whoop, pow, whoop, whoop! You've been saved! Whoop, uh, I'll try again. Thanks, Scoop, but that won't be necessary. I'll go and get a ladder. Rescues worked properly. Maybe there'll be someone I can rescue back at the park. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, sign. <gasps> that could fall and hurt someone. Super scoop to the rescue. Hey, careful, scoop. Yeah. Ouch. Faster than a speeding tractor. Move! Oh, go! Whoa! Oh, oh. Uh oh! Ow! Stay still, Scoop. We'll get you out from under there. Oh! A superhero is supposed to be strong and brave. They shouldn't need rescuing. I'm a super zero. A true hero doesn't need super strength or bravery, Scoop. A true hero thinks before they act. Thanks, Wendy. What was that? Uh, nothing, Scoop, but you're in my way. Oh, sorry. You should have said so. Ah, I know where they'll be safe. <sighs> Hi, Bob. This is the first one for the upper level. Okay, Lofty. You need to extend your boom as far as it will go. All right. Here we go! Yes, this place looks nice and safe. A little bit closer, Lofty. What's that noise? Not sure. An airplane? <laughs> Okay, lower your winch now. Will do, Bob! Ah! I can't hold it! Whoa. Look down below! Ah! Oh, no! Luff! 
Lofty, are you all right? Uh, no, Bob. I can't move at all. What happened? It was lifting this heavy concrete so high. I think I've broken something. Oh, Lofty, you should have told us. You're going to need some repairs. I just wanted to keep up with Tiny. I thought I could do it, but I was wrong. Bob, that's the only exit, and now it's blocked. What are we going to do? Maybe I can reach it. <laughs> nope, sorry, guys. It's too far away. So how are we going to get out? Uh, well, if I can get out, Curtis can fix me, and then I'll be able to unblock the entrance. Um, I know I should have accepted your help earlier, Tiny, but maybe you can help me now. Sure, little guy. Here I am, Tiny, ready for my extra heavy load. Stand by, two-ton. Time for some tower power! Daddy Tiny! Whoa, <laughs> I'm so high up. Hello down there! <laughs> okay. Here goes! How exciting! Yeah! One crane for delivery to Curtis. Ready to go, Lofty? Ready to go! Drive on, Two-Ton! While you're gone, would you like me to put in some sections for you? Oh, uh, yes, please, Tiny! That would be a big... You go. Phew. Nearly comfy. One more inch. <laughs> ah! <laughs> What's that noise, go? I hope it's not a ghosty. That <gasps> mock. <gasps> What's going on? Where's Muck? He just went off somewhere. I'm not surprised. I think you might have scared him. What do you mean? That cement dust makes you look like a ghost. And he thought you were scary enough already. Oh, dear. We'd better go and find him. <laughs> there he is. Mark! Mark! <laughs> the ghost again! The garage. Oh. oh no, what have I done? Ooh. Look, it's okay. It's just me and Philip. I thought Philip was a ghosty. <sighs> what are you all doing in. Oh no, the jacks! They're all dented and broken! It's all my fault. No, I'm the one to blame. I took Muck's shed and made him sleep outside. Then I scared him into the workshop. I'm sorry, Muck. I've been a terrible guest, and I've been very rude to you. That's okay. It's going to take time to get new cylinders. How are we going to finish your garage before you bring Mayor Snipe to the town hall? If only you drove as slowly as me. It'd take you ages to get there. Muck, you've just given me a wonderful idea. There we go, Philip. All clean and ready to go. Thank you, Bob. Does everyone know what they're doing in Philip's go slow plan? Yes! Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. What's wrong, Scoop? You do know the way back, don't you? Um, uh, well, uh, um, uh, no. <gasps> that means we're lost! Ah! Don't worry, I'm brilliant at outdoor skills. 
Let me think. Um, when you're lost, you, um... You don't know what to do, do you? Yes, I do. Um, when you're lost, you, uh, you... Yes! Oh, you send out an SOS, like this. <gasps> huh? What's that? It sounds like Scoop sending an SOS. But I thought he was working on the path with Muck. Scoop and Muck aren't here. Right. Lofty, come on. Let's go and find him. Yes, Bob. It's coming from over there. Righto. <laughs> now we just have to wait. Um, care for a sing song? Not really, no. Scoop! <gasps> Mike! <gasps> Where are you? That's Bob! We're here! Over here! Found you! Scoop, Muck, what happened? I wanted to go on a hiking and camping adventure, Bob. I thought I could just go. I didn't know there was so much to learn. Well, yes. A camping trip needs to be prepared. And you must always tell someone where you're going. Scoop knew the signal for help, Bob. Yes, you're right, he did. Well done, Scoop. Thank you. Now, come on. The campsite is due to reopen soon. We need to get back. Yeah, let's go and finish the park. Adventure Center is wonderful. Thank you all so much. Hi, Hi Uncle, Uncle Phil. Phil. Ah, my first summer campers. I now declare the campsite open. Yes. Yes. Assembling the telescope. Pass me the first panel, please, Lofty. Will do. Slowly, gently. It's going to be a really big dish. Bigger than any TV satellite dish. Yeah, but not too close, Scoop. A huge mungus dish. You're getting too close to the dish, Scoop. Am I too close? Am I really? Just a little bit, Scoop. Oh, no problem, Bob. Only joking, Lofty. <sighs> I've connected the cable, so as soon as the dish is installed, you'll have full control of it. Thanks, Wendy. Ready, Lofty? I think so, Bob. I'm just a little bit scared of breaking the dish. You'll be fine if you take it slowly, Lofty. Right. Oh, I'm gonna get it wrong, Bob. No, you're not, Lofty. You're doing beautifully. That's it. Okay. Lower it down now. That's right. Keep going. Well done, Lofty. You did it. Phew. Nothing went wrong. Now I need to power up from the observatory and check the remote control works. <gasps> You mustn't sit there, Gull. The radio telescope is very delicate and can easily be damaged. Oh, there's a good seagull. Come on, hop on to my jib. The power's on. Let's try moving the telescope. Come to Lofty. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, Bob. Gull was sitting on the dish, so I tried to get him to move. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. How's it looking, Bob? Oh, not good. 
The hydraulics are completely jammed, and that means the telescope won't move. And it's stuck in the wrong position. Now I won't be able to speak to Lin. Oh, May, I'm sorry. I thought Go might damage the telescope. Is there a way to get the hydraulics to work again, Bob? I won't know until I've checked what's broken. To start with, I'd have to disconnect them. But then the dish would just flop to one side. And I wouldn't be able to move it by remote control at all. Maybe you don't need to. What if I move the dish with my jib? That's a great idea. I think I can make it work. Scoop! Scoop! Guess what? Wendy says it's going to be Bob's birthday soon. Oh, wow! We can have a party! Yay! Yes, and she's getting him a present. It's a surprise. Oh, I wonder what it'll be. I don't know. Wendy, Wendy! What's the surprise? Shh, Buck! Well, what's the surprise job today? <laughs> no surprises today, Scoop. It's a big day, though. Is that because we have to finish putting in all the steel supports for the skyscraper, Bob? That's right, Leo. Just like this. We're finishing this part today. These supports hold up the rest of the building. And then after that, we'll be able to build on upwards. Whoa! That is awesome! Yes, it'll be the tallest building we've ever built. Now, Lofty, you'll help me, Wendy, and Leo. Got it, Bob. Not forgetting Tiny, of course. Hi there, Tiny. Ready for some tower power? Morning, Bob, everyone. Oh, yes, tower power at the ready. Excellent. Scoop and Muck, you'll dig the trenches for the pipes to bring water to the skyscraper. Will do, Bob. Yes, Bob. So, team. Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. I know what Wendy's surprise present to Bob will be. Oh, really? Then what? It'll be... A new motorbike! Oh, yes! Bob would love that! Back in a mo! Or maybe it'll be a new saxophone. Hi there, Scoop. Oh, hello, Roland. Wendy asked me to deliver this. Why, what is it? I think it's something for Bob. Something for Bob? Pop it in here, Roland. I'll make sure Wendy gets it safely. Excellent. Thanks, Scoop. Say hi to her for me. Will do, Roland. Bye. 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 What's happening? Look at this. Look. Roland just brought it. It's something Wendy ordered. And Roland thinks it's for Bob. Hadn't you better give it to him then? No, don't you see? Wendy ordered it and it's for Bob. So it must be 